Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin and I'm here with Nate. We're Youth Services Librarians with the Sacramento Public Library. Thank you for joining us. We've developed a series of online programs to showcase some of the ways the library can support you this fall. But more importantly, we just wanna make sure that you have an understanding that the library is here for you. We hope that we can support you and your students in our virtual and contactless process. We want to spotlight during this presentation diverse ebooks for your virtual classroom. Getting books to your students is going to be difficult this school year. Luckily, the Sacramento Public Library has an incredible resource for your virtual classrooms ebooks and e audiobooks. So, I'm going to show you how to navigate to our library homepage um, and find all of those ebooks and e audiobooks. So, we're at www.saclibrary.org. And you'll see right here books and media and beneath digital media you'll click ebooks and audiobooks. And here we are in all its glory. Ebooks are so rad, and librarians are their biggest cheerleaders. With automatic returns and no late fees, ebook checkouts are easily managed. You and your students can read or listen on just about any mobile device, browser, or e-reader. And since there are so many devices that you can access these titles through, we won't go into depth with the mechanics of the apps during this presentation. However, there are tutorial videos right next to each of the ebook catalog options. And if any of you are truly stumped, of course contact us at the library for more assistance. So as you can see, Sacramento Public Library has two main options for accessing eBooks, Overdrive and Hoopla. Overdrive has a robust collection of thousands and thousands of titles, but since it is a lot like a traditional book catalog, we won't go, we're not really gonna focus on that one today. Instead, we're gonna focus on Hoopla because it's the bee's knees. It lets you choose from thousands of eBooks, audiobooks, music, comics, movies, television shows, it's nonstop. So let's go on over to Hoopla. All right, and here we are. It's pretty overwhelming. All of the information, books, um, categories, it's a great website. So Hoopla is so incredible because there is no waiting. Titles can be borrowed immediately. You see it, you get it. And you can read it in your web browser or download to your phone or tablet for offline enjoyment. But with great power comes great responsibility. Sacramento Library patrons get five checkouts a month. So as you explore Hoopla, there are a few tools to make it less overwhelming. You can refine search results, different formats and the advanced search allows you to look for series, um, authors, and different categories of titles. So let's just do a simple search right now. Hmm, what will I search? Wow, I wonder how I thought of that. Oh, look at that. Amazing. From the desk of Zoe Washington. The ebook and the audiobook right there at my fingertips. The audiobook is truly a sensation. So, since I have you here looking at this fabulous title, I have, um, I'm going to make you listen to me book talk it, of course. So, this is relatively new. It's by Janae Marks, and our protagonist, Zoe Washington, is an aspiring pastry chef. And she's dreading a sure to be boring summer because all of her friends are away at camp. But she receives a, a letter on her 12th birthday, a letter from her father, who she has never met because he's been incarcerated since she was a baby. They begin a correspondence back and forth, and eventually Zoe's dad proclaims that he's actually innocent of the crime he's serving time in jail for. Zoe is shocked. Why would someone be in jail for something they didn't do? And this question motivates Zoe to seek out the truth and hopefully the justice for her father that has been denied because of the brutal realities of systemic racism. 
And this is a debut novel, which is just absolutely absurd. It's so compelling. It's sensitive to its readers. It's a magnificent example of how kids' literature can start conversations and examine tough topics. So check it out. And now you're all thinking, yes, please, I want to check this out right now. It sounds unbelievable. How the heck do I get this incredible book? How do I get all my students to read this future award-winning novel? Easy. It's Hoopla. So you simply just click the title and click borrow, and it's yours for three weeks. So this can be used for book assignments, book reports, independent reading, what have you. It's a great, great magical resource. Nate, how else can we help teachers with our ebook and e audiobook collections? Hey, such a good question, Caitlin. Thank you. Um, it's true. So, as librarians, we're here to help get your class reading. I want to highlight a couple of ways to piggyback off of the Hoopla uh, tutorial. I think it's really uh, important to reiterate that Caitlin mentioned that each student gets five checkouts um, per month. So, one great way the library could help you is at the beginning of a month, we can hop into your class. Uh, through uh, virtual visits and help your students check out, for example, from the desk of Zoe Washington so that they do not use up all their checkouts uh, with other comics or books that they really want to read. So additionally, we're hosting a fall reading program this year. This program is similar to summer reading, but in the fall, we'll have prizes. We can also hop into your classroom um, and hype this program for your students. Uh, we can talk about new and exciting books that are available through Hoopla or our Overdrive program um, so that your students have virtual access to titles that they can then read for class in an independent reading mm -hmm. setting um, or at home for just for fun. And then they can log them for their fall reading program and win some prizes. We can help your students um, locate books for independent reading. So it's possible that you have an assignment that asks your student to find a book that they really want to read. Maybe it's Zoe Washington, maybe it's another title. Librarians are well equipped to discuss with your class uh, brand new titles, and especially those that are available instantly through a program like Hoopla. Um, and we can do that for readers who are just starting to read, like first, second graders, um, or we can talk to, you know, high school seniors or juniors, um, not just about young adults, excellent young adult books, but perhaps there are some um, adult titles that we'd like to feature as well. So we're here for you uh, in that context to help your students select their independent reading. But if it's, let's say it's more of an assignment or curricular focus, um, we can jump into your classroom and talk about subjects that fit your curricular goals, right? So nonfiction titles or fiction titles that relate to what you're studying, etc. cetera. Um, we can do this through the book uh, uh, library and virtual class visit. I wonder, Caitlin, if we can show them really quickly how to access that feature on our website. Um, so at saclibrary.org, um, here's our wonderful homepage. Just head on over to the search bar that you see in the top right corner. Click the little cursor for website. Type in class visit. It's the first thing you'll see when the uh, website does its search. Just like that, book a class visit. In this form, you'll fill out the information relevant to your class. Um, make sure you tell us which school um, you represent so that we can perhaps locate the librarian closest to you to come into your classroom so that your students recognize that person. Under visit type, indicate request a librarian visit my class. And under additional comments, point out specifically what you're looking for. If it's not something I just suggested, but you have a great idea for a librarian visit to your school or your virtual classroom, um, please let us know. We're into fine tuning what we offer and making it available to your students. One last thing I want to highlight as it relates to reading, um, diverse books, having librarians assist your classroom in the selection of those books is that we offer various book clubs. Um, currently our virtual book clubs are being hosted um, on, online through Facebook or Zoom. Um, we do a tween comic club, which is really rad for readers between the ages of eight, nine, up to 13, 14 years old. Um, and that is archived. So you could, for example, go on to Hoopla and check out the reigning Newberry winner, New Kid by Jerry Craft, an excellent graphic novel. Read that with your class and then spend some of the time in your virtual classroom watching the, the trivia, for example, that we set up as a part of our book club or the Q&A discussion, etc. There's also like an activity that you can use as a prompt for your students. So book clubs are really rad in a virtual setting. We can also, of course, come into your classroom and help facilitate a discussion about a book if it's something you're reading as a class or as a grade. 
So those are great ways that librarians can join your classroom, join your virtual classroom to hype reading, to talk about curricular points and subjects that you're trying to reinforce with your students and or independent reading projects that you may have assigned them. Um, that's all for me and we wanna thank you for viewing this video and we hope that you find it useful. Of course, if you have questions, you can reach out to us at all times using our contact function on the website, so the top in the center of the website um, right there. You can call us, you can chat with us in the bottom right hand corner. There's actually a rad chat function where you can say, I need help, I need help. And we'll uh, get back to you between the times of around 5 a.m. to 8, 8 um, throughout the day. Otherwise we have email. You can send um, an email through uh, the contact customer service option indicate that you'd like to speak to a librarian, uh, toss your question at us, uh, make a suggestion for us. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Okay, for the Sacramento Public Library, both Caitlin and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye.